Hello. It is Thursday. I just finished editing my first vlog that's going to go up on my new channel. It's a Monday vlog. And, um, yeah. I'm quite excited to start doing this. Um, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to commit to any kind of, like, schedule. But, like, expect something on a Monday. Um, even if it's just going to be, like, maybe we've done one thing and I've recorded a little bit of footage. Yeah, just... I kind of just want to keep some um records just for me you know just some videos of things that we've done and things like that to look back on but um but i know i like watching people just like do do their thing and so i'm sure well i know that there are plenty of other people who like watching people just go about their lives <laughs> so um maybe you'd like to see me go about my life who knows but um but yeah it's Thursday today, so these first two vlogs are going to be a bit weird because um, my plan is to like put a video up on a Monday and then I will kind of bank up all of my footage <clears throat> through the week <clears throat> and then upload the new one on Monday. But I had some footage that I wanted to use from the end of last week and then I didn't record a lot like early this week and so... I thought, well, just use what I've got. I'll put it out, first vlog, finish up this week with this vlog, and then start afresh next week. Um, so yeah, and I think next week's gonna be sort of the start of my of my new routine, at least a little bit, because I'm about to start a new job. So, um, or hopefully in the next week or two, I'm gonna start a new job. So, um, and I won't be able to record pretty much at all on Mondays, Wednesdays or Fridays um, because I'm going to be working with children so um, I obviously can't record um, at work and it's a long day so there might be a little bit of car chatter um, in the mornings or in the evenings but mostly it's probably going to be a quiet day but the other days in the week I can do a little bit more recording um, so I'm excited to get started um, with this. It's a fun little thing to do. So right now I am, you know, totally neglecting my child. He's sitting here <laughs> watching Paw Patrol and playing with some balls. Um, and I am um, just finishing waiting for that to export. And I'm about to make him some lunch. And then we're gonna go out um, I don't want this banana. You don't want the banana? It's okay, you don't have to eat it, but I'm going to put it on the side in case you decide you want it later. Or yeah. Aiden might eat it if you don't want it, but I'm not going to throw it away. I keep this. Uh. Oh, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I There we go. Look smart enough for the cafe, Rory? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, right. Can you get off me, please, so I can get off the floor? Thank you. Um, okay, well, that's that's very convenient because I'm about to make you some lunch. Oh, wow. It's like I knew, right? You want a sandwich? Peanut butter? Yeah. Peanut butter sandwich. Okay, let's do it then.
there's a frog update. He's probably, if he's around still, he's probably like buried in the grass somewhere, right? He's not just gonna sit out. Can't see him. This was the brick that I moved, I've put it back. Like, made a little shelter and I put a bit of water there. But he, not enough that he'd be interested in it. We need to get out here and do some weeding. There we go. We've got some strawberries here, which I think <laughs> are dead. Uh, and this is some cucumber. These are our sunflowers. And these these things all need to be planted out, planted up and um, sorted out. Lawrence is so unimpressed by this toy. You don't like it, Flo? That's like prime gift given to child by a person who doesn't have children of their own. <laughs> it's um, a much loved toy by everybody. Apart from me and Andrew. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> Just got back from our quick trip out. I voted. I had some lunch. And we went to the library and I got quite a lot of books. So I'm going to show you what we got. Hello, Edith. Okay, so. Uh, these are the books we got, so... We've got one for Aiden for like bedtime reading and then um, a couple that Rory picked. This one's got music, although I've turned off now, so and this one's got music. Oh, and uh, Lego, quite popular at the moment in this house. And then um, I got a couple of um, kind of books for inspiration with the uh, kiddos. So I quite like these kind of things. I can think of these ideas myself, but sometimes it's um, really useful to um, have something else. 
some someone else tell me what to do with my children and then um nature guide wildlife i thought there'd be something about frogs in here um and given that we have a frog in the garden then i thought that would be uh, one that would go down well and this one as well habitats again thought i've got a frog on the front might be able to find some insp information about frogs um and then maybe make our garden a frog friendly place so i thought they would be good and then i picked up two books for me um i think that this one is one that ali from uh, this little wonderful life mentioned and really liked so i picked that one up and then this one teeny tiny gardening um it's appealed yes hello okay i'll be there in a second They look happy. Yeah. What are they, Rory? Can you remember? Yeah. What are they? Oh, uh, gosh. Two circles. Together. Are they sunflowers? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Sunflowers got circles. Yep. Because those, these. These are poppies, aren't they? But I'm not sure if they're going to work. But I, I quite like this whole grow something in your shoe, your old shoes thing. genuinely concerned I'm going to fall asleep in the sun and forget to get Aiden and also get horribly burned. <laughs> it's so nice out today. Mm. Thank you. 
Saturday today. Um, day of the coronation. And we are uh, heading out early. Andrew's going to do park run. And I am taking the children into um, Norwich to get like a snack and things at the cafe in the forum and um there's a craft fair happening there so we'll um go and have a look say hello to a couple of my friends and then we're going to my parents um to go to a street party and i think i don't know i think it's going to be a bit weird we're going just for the like the boys will enjoy it and yeah we don't really care well i'm not gonna get into it here we're not going for the king let's put it that way <laughs> we thought the boys would enjoy it and um it might be fun and it's at my parents favorite pub so there we go um yeah but i dyed my hair last night and i'm quite pleased with the color looks a bit smarter than the sort of blonde that was growing out so i just put some blue earrings on to go with the the blue hair put some eyeliner on so like i'm basically like dressed up to go out <laughs> children are wearing Summery-ish clothes, and they're watching Captain Jake on Disney Plus. And I'm gathering things. Aiden's going for a sleepover tonight at my parents, so um, he's really excited about that. Rory is not yet in a position sleep-wise where he can go and stay over because he still wakes up in the night sometimes and comes into our bed. So most of the time, so um, my parents obviously not really set up for that kind of thing but Aiden sleeps through the night and goes to sleep sensibly and <laughs> things like that so so he can go so we're just waiting for Rory to do the same and then he can go and have a sleepover because he's very jealous that Aiden gets to go and he doesn't so yep so we'll see what the day holds I don't know how much vlogging I'll get to do because obviously it's gonna be quite busy I think at this street party thing and I don't know I don't really want to be recording um, loads of other people, but we'll see. Are you enjoying your chips, Rory? Aiden's just got home from a sleepover. I'm having a snack. Did you have fun at Mama and Pop Pops? Good. You had fun with Mummy and Daddy? Chocolate face. And Rory has built an excellent train track. It's very long. You doing okay, Aiden? You got it the right way in? Yep. Well done. It's outside in. Outside in. Surely yes. it's outside out and inside in. I'm just sitting down to plan out okay. food for yeah. May. Um, <laughs> we've been doing food plans. Usually try and food plan 
sometimes we used to do it weekly and we just found that we were having the same meals we just found we were having the same meals every single week every single day and we were getting really bored but we just didn't have i didn't have like i don't know I could every sitting down every week on a Saturday or a Sunday and trying to plan out the next week's worth of food. I just couldn't think of anything interesting, and uh, it didn't. It felt like it took me too long to do, and I didn't feel like I could commit any more time to it than I was already giving it. Which meant that we just ended up having the same thing every time because. <clears throat> It was the quickest way to food plan. And we, yeah, we got bored and we'd get to certain days and just not eat what we'd planned to eat because we were like, oh, I don't want to have that again. So then I've switched our food planning method and I apologize if this is very boring. <laughs> We've switched our food planning method. So now I plan a month's worth of food. So I spend one day, well, not one day, I spend like, you know, an hour or so um going through cookbooks looking at recipes online that i've like come across and then i plan out the month and i can also do things like we can see if anything big is happening like so for example in may andrew is away for like a long weekend in edinburgh because he's doing a race um on the Saturday, I think. So, um, so he's going Thursday and he comes back Sunday. So I know that there's like three nights there when I need to just feed me and the children. And I think we just arranged for Rory to have a sleepover with my parents on the Saturday. So um, he might eat with them on the Saturday or we might all eat together and then I'll, and then I'll drive home with Aiden. But yeah, and then also like the Friday, they're coming over to like hang out. <laughs> um, so that I'm not like at home alone with the boys, just going slowly mad. So we'll probably have like a pizza that night. There's a pizza place in the village that we live in, which is amazing, best pizza ever. And um, yeah, it's so it means I can like see those things way, way in advance. Um, and like I can put in half terms and things like that. So I kind of feel like I'm not sitting down like the Saturday before half term and suddenly thinking, oh, they're like gonna be home all day, which means they're gonna eat twice as much food. <laughs> and so I can then like, yeah, see ahead that we're gonna need to <laughs> Too loud, thank you. We can see ahead that we're going to stock up on like snacks and all that kind of stuff. So it's been really, really helpful and it means I don't have to think about it like last thing on a Saturday or a Sunday night when I suddenly think to myself, what am I going to eat next week? So I can just find a time sometime before the end of the month to um, like plan this out. On this occasion, I have left it much later than I normally would, but only because the month ended on a Sunday, right? No, the, yeah, the month ended on a Sunday. And so I like to fill in the, even like if so I fill in the extra days, if it, so this, this starts on a Sunday, but month ended on a Sunday and then the rest of the week continued along the calendar. And I like to fill in that whole week just to give myself a bit of a head, the heads up. Cause normally, you know, if the week finishes on like a Thursday, for example, the month finishes on a Thursday then it would just be like two or three days that I would fill in. Um, but yeah, because the first week of May filled this calendar, it's like, it's now the Sunday. I haven't got anything planned for tonight. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm basically in the same position as I, I have, I've been trying to avoid, except I've got a whole month ahead of me that I need to plan. So um, that was not clever of me.
fun things I've that. I've got some, um, what was it called? Calendula, is that right? Uh, in here. Uh, this one is red cabbage. Oh no, I've forgotten which way around it was. One of them is peas and one of them is red cabbage, I think. And then over here I've got broccoli and pumpkin. Maybe one of these is pumpkin and one of these is peas. And then this is broccoli and cabbage. Probably should have made a note while I was uh, planting them. <laughs> oh well. But um, yeah, these are quite good. We quite like getting this. It's a box for the kids called Mud and Bloom. And it's like a monthly kind of outdoor activities, um, like na nature activities, um, like subscription box. Um, and there's usually things to plant and we often don't do them, but this year we're trying to do a little bit more in the garden, um, do some container gardening, things like that. And they come with these, they're wrapped like this. You probably would have seen them in the video. Um, little sort of pods of compost and you put them in water to soak them and they expand. And then they're compost. So, so these are all gonna go on the windowsill now. And um, then we're gonna get a greenhouse to go in the garden. Just a little greenhouse. That's gonna go here where the shed currently is and the shed's gonna go to the back of the garden. So. That's the plan. Now I'm just gonna tie you up. And Nathan's got a birthday party to go to. Um, and they just spent 10 minutes getting each other completely drenched in the garden. So Aiden's just in the back. And um, then we're getting ready to go. He's going bowling, which I'm kind of like, four and five year olds bowling. Okay. Oh. Watch me. Okay, I'm sorry. Apparently, I've got to play football on my own. I just planted some new bulbs. Can't say it. That's what I planted. Yeah. So I hope that's going to be okay. You're going to play with me tonight. Yep. Oh. And it's Sunday we dark. When it's dark, we have, to, we have to play when it's dark? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to have to get some new strawberries. I thought I would just come in and uh, wrap up the weekend vlog. I'm about to settle into bed. Do some reading. That's what I'm reading at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, yep, tomorrow is pattern release day. <laughs> well, I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.